How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And some of you guys have been asking, why is there no HBO Max in the UK? Now, HBO Max is not currently available in the UK because of rights and distribution agreements. HBO Max is owned by Warner Media, which is a subsidiary of AT&T, and Warner Media already has a distribution agreement with Sky in the UK for its HBO content. And this agreement extends to the streaming service Sky Go, which is similar to HBO Max. Additionally, there are also other streaming services in the UK, such as Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, that already have a large market share and established agreements with local content providers. Another reason is the international rights agreement of the movies and series that are available on HBO Max, as there are only rights to show them exclusively in the USA, which makes it difficult for the platform to expand to other countries. Although Warner Media announced plans to expand the availability of HBO Max internationally, um, no one really knows because they've had this message, which is HBO Max isn't available in your region yet, as if it's coming to, uh, you know, more countries. But it's been that way for a long time. Uh, and if, you know, you're trying to watch some exclusive shows, you probably don't want to wait indefinitely until HBO Max is available internationally, but no one knows when that is going to happen. So if you're trying to access HBO Max, no matter how many times you refresh or remove this part of the URL, you're not going to be able to access it if you're outside the United States. And so for that, you'll need a VPN uh, and a reliable VPN at that because a free or unreliable VPN is still going to be detected by HBO Max and HBO does not allow for VPN traffic. So if you're trying to avoid this geo restriction and bypass it completely and make it look like you're in the States, you're going to need to connect to a server and borrow an American IP address in an American server using a reliable VPN. VPN. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and narrowed it down to Express in order to Surfshark as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features, so you can pick and choose depending on your specific needs and preferences. I like to use the best of the best, which is Express VPN. It's the most reliable and easiest to use. So I'll go ahead and connect to the American server using Express VPN. NordVPN is more of a well-rounded option that gives you a bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. And Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost. Now, if you try to access HBO Max before connecting to the American IP address, you still won't be able to get access to it because your cache and cookies still remember that you're outside the States. So you'll have to go to these settings, and this is the case just with HBO Max and only a few streaming services out there. This doesn't happen with Hulu, Amazon, or Netflix. You can just refresh on these streaming services and you'll be good to go. But you'll have to do this on HBO Max if you try to access it while uh, still being not connected to the VPN. So go to privacy and security if you're on Chrome, clear browsing data, and just the lead up to, uh, in my case, it's just going to be the last hour. But if you try to access HBO Max um, before that last hour, you might have to delete a little bit more than the last hour or 24 hours. Uh, you can go ahead and experiment just the lead up to the last hour or 24 hours and see what happens. And all you need to do is just delete the cookies and uh, cat images and files, clear data, and just get out of here. Delete this part first from the URL and go ahead and click, and we have access to HBO Max as if I'm in the States myself. It's as simple as that. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, they're all covered by 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself a refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.